Tick Tick has finally released a feature that I've been waiting for for a long time. Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to show a feature where Tick Tick has now enabled a integration with Google to where your tasks will sync and it is a two-way sync between Google where your tasks will now actually live in in your calendar unlike before where you had to use the tick tick application to be able to see your calendar events and your tasks side by side so let's go ahead and get into it let's go into the settings we'll go into integration and in the integration you're able to add in your typical calendars here because there is a calendar view within tick tick that syncs in your your events from those calendars and if you want to do the integration, you're going to go through a similar process where you go to add calendar, choose Google, and now we'll see this new addition here to this particular setup wizard where you can integrate with Google instead of just subscribing your calendar. So if we hit the integration, it will go and prompt you through to authenticate to your Google calendar of choice and once you're in there then it will show where you can choose which list that you want to do you can select all or you can just select a particular uh, list within tick tick and then on the google calendar side you can choose which actual calendar you want to sync into now what's good here is that you can even add a calendar from here instead of leaving this particular wizard and going into Google, creating the calendar, and then coming back. You can do all that from here. I've already created a calendar here called Tick Tick. And the default list here is going to be my inbox. So if I create anything in Google, it will sync to this inbox. You can come in here and you can change this. And then it will also give it a tag of GCal here and as you can see you can come in here and you can also change that configuration as well so it's a pretty flexible setup here around the the integration of what you can do and yeah i think it's pretty good let's go ahead and hit integration and it will go ahead and do its thing and then you can just simply leave the the actual setup configuration and then we can come into the inbox we can come in here and then we can do new uh, google task sync and we can go ahead and put that in there and if we open up our google calendar let's go into the google calendar we will put these side by side and if I go into the calendar, you should be able to see this actual task in here. When we So it's set up for today. We have today, and then we can see that task is right here. Now I can come in here and I can edit this task. I can set it for uh, either a different day, or I can even come in here and I can put a time to it. Let's say we're going to set this up for uh, 3 30 p.m. to 4 go ahead and change this to the daily view and we can see that task right here now and if we open up the the actual uh, task in tick tick we can see that it actually changed the time in here as well the sync is pretty quick from what I've seen and yeah I think this has been a, a much awaited feature at least for me so that I can get tasks within my task manager that can actually block the calendar similar and, and this is similar to what you could already do within Todoist and say Occiflow and some of the other applications out there Morgan so this has been you know I think a little bit far in the tooth for them to bring this out at this point but um, yeah, happy that they have it in there. So for anyone that's using Tick Tick right now, if you want to start showing your task or putting your task in your Google Calendar, you can set up this integration. It will block off those times and 
yeah I think it's all good here you can even create events in the Google Calendar that will sync back into tick tick so if I was to create a calendar event here let's choose the appropriate calendar for tick tick and create this event this was created in gcal and let's put in a it already has the time and everything so we can go ahead and save that so that's saved to the tick tick calendar and if we come over here to the inbox we can see that that synced in there and it has the the um, tag that we configured in the integration setup and we saw how quick that that was to sync over so they're pretty fast if we can come over here and let's say we'll change this time to 12 p.m. and we'll put that there and when we come over to the Google Calendar let's see if it updates fairly quick here all right it just changed over so it did take about a minute there to sync over time will vary where whether it's syncing to or from tick tick in the calendar but it's fairly fairly quick um, I haven't seen any real syncing issues with this particular integration during my testing and one more thing to note about the integration and just how how good it really is is that some some integrations when you delete a task from um, either the calendar or from the task app it breaks the connection between the the count these two different apps and it will leave remnants behind and one app that I I know that <laughs> that does it because I use it all the time is Akiflow so if you delete the actual task it deletes the that connection between them and it will not delete on the other end so it's not a two-way delete only it syncs uh, changes and certain changes between the two apps but if I was to come in here and I was delete let's say we're going to delete this new Google here from the tick tick side if we delete that app eventually we'll see that it will be removed from the calendar here so you saw how it disappeared so it shows that that integration is there for not just updates to the event itself or the task but also it triggers when you do a deletion now if we come in here and let's see if we do it the other way if it'll happen so we have this was created in gcal let's go ahead and delete that particular calendar event on the google side and let's see if it deletes on the tick tick side All right, so we saw fairly quickly it also deleted the other way around from Google to Tick Tick, and previously before that we saw from Tick Tick to Google. So this is a pretty solid integration in my opinion. Now the only thing I think is really left for Tick Tick, this is a, a great app as I mentioned before. I think the one thing that is missing is that you cannot create your calendar events from here, so you're still going to have to go to a calendar app and but you can edit any of your calendar events that you do have in here one thing that could probably fix and and clean up in here is that you do get some HTML elements in some of your in some of the meetings or at least some of the ones that I get that do not show up in other calendar apps so tick tick if you're you guys are listening here I think this is one improvement that should be fixed here this is just a more of a, a UI thing here where they can just support HTML and then also add the feature of being able to add calendar events within the Tick Tick, tick app and I think that would it, it would round this application out to where it would be a, a really big contender to some of the other applications that are out there I'd say right now even given that it doesn't do any of the calendar event stuff that I would prefer tick tick over to do is now that I have the calendar sync feature that was the only reason why I would not leverage tick tick as much um, in the past is because uh, to do is 
and other apps would actually sync the events to the calendar and block those times off. So that is going to be it for this video. If you have any feedback, don't go ahead and leave some your feedback in the actual video. And if you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.